Hello guys, welcome once again. In this video, I will show you how to find the sum of rows or column of a data grid view. So, if you are following this video, I have made uh, this form till now. And in here, I have a data grid view in which I am taking the values from the database. And now, I want the sum of all ages. So whatever ages are here, I want the sum of them. So how can I show the sum? I will show you today. So let me close it. Now in here, select your data grid view and go to event and in the event I will choose for example key down event so for every key down and when I press enter it will give me no actually it will be the good idea to take a button to show the sum of ages so I will take a button and I will make little bit space here to show the sum okay and I will change its text in the properties so age sum okay now I will double click this age sum button and in here I will declare a int first int variable sum and then I will declare a for loop so for and in the for loop I will give the condition int i and i is less than my data grid view name so my data grid view name is I will select this and I will go to the properties and the data grid view name is data grid view one once again so I is less than data grid view dot rows dot count and then third argument will be the plus plus i okay and in here I haven't initialized this for loop so I will initialize it and inside the for loop what I will do is I will take a sum so I will write sum plus is equal to and then I will write convert dot to int 32 so because I have taken this sum as int variable that's why I need to convert whatever the value is coming into the integer that's why I have written this conversion and then bracket and bracket close and inside this bracket so in here I will write this data grid view name then the row dot rows and I will provide this square bracket and inside I pass the i variable okay then I will write dot cell and this here will take the cell number which I want to want the sum of so I want the sum of my ages which is the cell number 3 okay so here goes the cell number I will also show you how I get this cell number once I run the program this is showing the error because I haven't initialized this so sum is equal to 0 now after this for loop go outside and go write message 
box dot show and bracket and bracket closed and inside I will write my sum variable dot to string okay and bracket and bracket closed so this whole code will give me the sum of my ages so let's try and run the program username and password load table and when I press this sum age it should give me the value of sum of ages so I have given the cell number 3 because this is cell number 0 cell number 1 cell number 2 and cell number 3 that's why I have given here if you can see cell number 3 so in this way you can count the cell 0 1 2 3 and third cell is the cell for ages so that's why I have taken cell 3 now I will press this sum age age sum button and it gives me some okay so let's see what is the error I think after this uh, cell I must have given dot value because I'm taking the cell content but not the value so just go after your cell and then add value now run the program once again and load table and it gives me the sum of all ages okay now suppose you want not the sum but the average of your ages so how can you do that it's also very simple so you have the sum and now first of all this button I will change the name as uh, average instead of sum I will write average first AVG for example and I have the sum and the average is sum by the number of values right so what I will do is I already have the sum now I will count the number of rows so how will I do this it's simple I'm just counting the number of row here also so I will just copy this code from here and I will declare int count count uh, row for example and is equal to I will give this value okay so this will give me the number of rows in my data grid view and what now I need to do is I need to give the average so average is sum by number of values so I will give uh, double for example is equal to no double avg first and then is equal to sum divided by count row okay and now I will just take this average from here and paste it here so just I will convert this average into string and show it in the message box so let's try and run the program and if it gives the average or not 2 2 which is my username and password and let's see it gives the average of my ages or not so yes my average age of employee is 35 so in this way you can count the number of uh, or the sum and the average of the column you want to make the sum. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.